Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You say, well, what exactly is blasphemy? To put it simply, it means to curse. So what's a blasphemer? Somebody that curses God. In Leviticus 24, the first mention of the word, it says, And the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And it goes on and says that whoever curses the Lord will bear his sin. And then it says, if you blaspheme, you'll be put to death. Right? That's Leviticus 24. God's clear about that. So when somebody's blaspheming, they're cursing God. Well, how come God let my daddy die? Well, you worry about your own soul. You get saved first, and then maybe you'll understand why God does things, but look, we're all going to die. Well, how come good things or bad things happen to good people? Well, for starters, there are no good people. Right? It's a flawed premise that people deal with there, and they think it's okay to swear at God or to tell God off, or when I get up there, we're going to work it out, we're going to negotiate. Uh-uh. doesn't happen. And today, people love to throw around Jesus' name or God's name. OMG, that's cursing. That's cursing. In the Psalms, when they say, Oh my God, I trust in Thee. That's a prayer. I called God's name because I need Him. I need His attention. Right? I'm calling on the Lord through His name, and yet people today throw His name around like a byword. It's cursing. It's wicked. 